It's me, Earthman Brick, once again, for another unboxing video, and this time we've got Warhammer Underworlds. Now, a lot of the Warhammer Underworlds games tend to have a tagline underneath, like Shade Spire or Underworlds, or no wait, Underworlds is there. What are the other ones? Uh, Shade Spire is definitely one of them. Beast Grave. Uh, there's, there's actually been quite a few of them, but I think that this is the first of them. So let's take a look at the back of the box, see what we get. Enter the mirrored city of Shadespire and prove your skills in furious combat. Well, not chilled out combat then, furious. That's good. Warhammer Underworlds is an action-packed advanced combat game for two players. Gather your warband, enhance your warriors with unique skills and upgrades, and lead them to victory against your foes. Well, that uh, sounds rather riveting, and we get some nice pictures here. We've got our, uh, what is it, Sigmarines? Uh, what are they called again? Come on. Uh, Storm of Celestus Fighters, they're, they're called, but uh, I think the faction has an actual name. Uh, please comment <laughs> down below because my memory isn't worth crap, and, and I can't remember what this whole faction's called. But these guys are the Night Haunts. They're like a ghosty... Ghosty Warriors, they're, they're pretty cool. I think that's like meant to be like a dead Skaven because he's got like the, the prickly spine and he's got the uh, the long sort of like bony skull face. They look very cool. And then apparently they've got names as well. Draken Celestus and Viceroy Drepper. You know, so good on them. And this game is not unlike the other unboxing we did, which was Magic the Gathering Arena of the Planeswalkers, where it's a hybrid game of being a deck building game as well as miniatures. And so quite a nice little marriage between the two. And also it's got a hex grid. Yes, a hex grid game. Because we, you know, we love our little hex grids. It's a break from the norm really. So let's crack this nut open. Alley up. And just pop that there. Yep. Come on, please don't fall down. No, it's gonna keep falling down. So I'll just precariously place it there and hope it doesn't cause any damage. So we've got the instructions. Learn to play rules. Yeah. Just check out the contents. So we got the introduction, which is all blurb. The rules, eh, four pages off, which isn't too bad. Playing the game, two pages off. Uh, action phase. Uh, okay, that's a bit more complicated. It goes down about seven or so pages. The end phase. Play on rounds two and three, so it's more of the same. And then there's a glossary and references at the end. So let's just have a quick flick. See what we get. Whoa! Ah, that's the name of them. Stormcast Eternals. <sighs> so dim. Yeah. Oh, nice looking cards anyway. And you get two double-sided game boards. So that's like four. See? I can do math. 40 power cards, 24 objective cards, Drepper's Wraith Reapers fighting cards and fighting cards. So these are like the profiles of each of these characters at the bottom. So you get eight miniatures all in all. Look, one's a Griffin. So cool. Yeah, so that's the cards for those guys. And then 40 power cards, 24 objective cards. So no doubt that's part of the deck building experience. And different characters will have different effects. And there's a whole Myriad of tokens as well. Okay, and objective tokens and such like as well. Oh, and you get special dice as well. Attack dice and defense dice. Interesting. So yeah, it's a full game in a box. That's the blurb. I'm not gonna read all that. Jamesy, we'd be here all day! The rules are long and complex. So we'll leave that to one side. The decks. <laughs> yeah, and one of the cool things about this game is that you can get lots of uh, extra gangs and stuff which have their own decks as well. So you can buy extra miniatures and little box sets. 
act as little expansions. Yeah, I'm just sucking through. Let's see. Oh yeah, assembly guide at the end. And one of the good things about this set is that it's all push fit, so you don't need any glue. See, look, it says it there. New glue required! So if you want them to not fall to bits, then glue is probably a good thing to have. And then there's a glossary of terms, and there's the layouts of the four mats. Well, two double-sided mats. And, oh my goodness. Full-blown flowchart at the end. <clears throat> so yeah, that looks pretty cool. And yep, it's all come with this uh, bubble wrap because I got this secondhand on eBay from a good seller. And ooh, these models look nice. They're a damn good size as well. This, this is like a. I can't tell what size of bases these are. I think that's either 40mm or 32mm. Let's see. That's 40mm. Yeah, so these are 40mm bases these big guys are on. So the blue guys, which are the Stormcast Eternals, let me just put them at the back there. They're on all on 40mm bases, and these Ghosty Nighthaunt guys, they're all on 32mm bases. You can kind of see the size difference there between the two. And I think you're able to use these interchangeably into the game. Oh, look at that. That's really quite funky. He's on an actual little fence. Very cool. Jimsy. Ooh, take someone's eye out with it. Apologies while I drop stuff everywhere. Here, wait a minute. Mm, not much variety there, but he has a zombie crow. Right on that little gravestone there. That's pretty, pretty cool. I dig it. And there's the dice. And as you can see, they've never been used because they're still in the wrapping. And the cards. Ooh. They're nice and glossy. Nice, uh, nice illustration on there. And plastic bands too. But yeah, that seems to be our lot. Everything that we get in it, except from... The battle board. So let's go and look at that. I'll be underneath all this. I'll just put all these guys all to one side. Yeah, I think I paid like, I think it was about 25 quid for this, so. Pretty good bang for your buck. Ooh, this is, uh, this is not nice plastic. This is extremely cheap plastic. Yeah, that. Look at the way it's fraying up at the ends. That is horrible. And dented and stuff as well. Nasty. Oh, and of course the tokens. So, oh, that's nice. So it's all still wrapped. Still got a barcode on it. Warhammer Underworld starter set board pack. So yeah, they look pretty nice. Pretty high quality. And they're relatively thick as well. I think that's probably about two mil. And these boards seem pretty sturdy too. And I think the way these boards work is that they're on a hinge. I think it's that side. It must be this side. No, no, it is this side here. Because you can see with this top layer here, they've got the, you can see the edge of the gray card. But down here, it's all black because that's where the hinge is, where these fold over. I won't bother cracking it open just now. I'll wait until I actually play a game of this. That's a nice big healthy hex grid. You can probably fit two characters on there. No, just the one. Nope, that's a bit of a problem. His weapon's a bit too big and sticky. But yeah, I'll uh, keep this by and have a game at some point. Good bang for your buck there. Ooh, that was horrible. Apologies for that. Sticking the decks, the dice. Put back on the old rack. I'll take one last look at the box art while we seal this to its fate. Just one last look at that terrain there. That is pretty funky. So very nice looking models anyway. If you're just looking to get a few models that are nicely detailed, you 
have some rather dynamic poses and this is a great set for if you just want a tiny taste as well as a clear full blown little game. I'll just pop the little book back on here. And then low charts. Put that back on. And there we go. So yeah. I think that's a pretty good set. Of course, this is uh, discontinued now, I believe. Uh, they're onto the... <clears throat> they're busy shelling out the new one. I can't remember what it's called. So if anyone knows, just post in the comments below. But I hope you've enjoyed this video anyway. And I think it's a pretty good set. And, oh, it feels so nice. It's such a nice glossy coated finish. Unlike... Let me just get it. The recent Kill Team box set. This is it here. Pariah Nexus. Now, this isn't nice and glossy at all. It's just kind of cheapo card. It's really not very nice at all. Don't know what they were thinking, but this, look at that. You can actually see the reflection in it. That's how nice and glossy and such a well-made one that is. Whereas this, just casting my shadow. Still nice box art. This isn't the complete set by the way, this is just an empty box and I think all I had in it was the terrain. I don't think there's anything else in there. Yeah because I just got, I think whoever had it first uh, sold off all the miniatures in here. But yeah, I'll be painting up some of that terrain at some point. Not that it's overly inspiring. I'm not really a fan of that. Anyway, enough about that. I'll give it a, its own unboxing. I think I've got it, a full box uh, coming up soon. Yeah. I highly recommend getting this set uh, to try out. No idea how the game plays, but I've heard very good things. And that's a. Uh, what is it? It does give you a recommended time. So it's two players, each is 12 plus, so it's not going to be overly complex. And it'll take you about half an hour to have a game. Because I think uh, realistically, with uh, what was it, Warhammer 40,000 and Warhammer Age of Sigmar, a game of those can take anywhere between an hour to two hours, maybe. Uh, I don't know how far they've streamlined it. But yeah, not the fastest or speediest of games. But this one hits that sweet spot, I think. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going now. You guys have a nice time, and I'm going to work on my next video. So thanks again for watching. You guys take care. Bye-bye.